Hey, my name is Jesus Castello from rubyguides.com and in this video I want to answer one simple question. What's the difference between print, puts and p? These are free Ruby methods that are used to display data on the screen. But they're slightly different. So let's explore the differences with some code examples. So put is probably the one you're the most familiar with. And with puts, you can print us a, uh, a number or you can print a string, hello. So that's puts. And if you use puts multiple times, you can see it prints the string in a new line. So hello and there are different lines, as you can see on this output window. But if we use print, now you will notice the difference immediately. And the difference, as you can see, is that there is no new line. So whenever you use print, the strings will be together, will be like this, will be in the same line. So the difference between print and puts is that puts creates a new line after whatever you want to print. So this way you can also have you can always have uh, whatever you print on different lines, and if you want the to print the thing on the same line, different things on the same line you can use print. So that's the main difference between print and puts. So what about p? Well, p is another method for printing. And if we use for a number, it works just like puts. We can do p, one, two, three, three, four, five. And right now this looks the, exactly the same as puts. So what's the difference? Well, there are two main difference. Difference number one, we need to use something else different from a number. We need to use something like a string. So if I have the string, hello, notice that we see hello with the quotation marks. So let me show you puts hello and p hello. And you will notice that the difference is that puts hello prints the string and p hello puts the string with the quotation marks. So that's the difference. Now if we use this with, for example, with an array, we, we do an array of one, two, three, and then puts one, two, three. Let me comment that for a moment. If we do p array one, two, three, we see the array as it is. So it's so it's like the more raw version. P is more, uh, more like a raw version of puts. Because if we do puts one, two, three, you can see that instead of showing us the array, like P, it's actually printing the individual elements of the array on their own line. So it's printing one, two, three, instead of the array one, two, three. That's the difference. So when shall you use one or the other? Well, puts, you use it when you want to print something for the user. So if you want to print the contents of your array so the user can see what you have, then you will use puts. Or you want to print a message like, hello there. You don't want the quotation marks on your display, on your output, right? The user of your program doesn't need to see the quotation marks. But if you are debugging your program or you are working with your program and you want to see exactly what you're working with in a more raw version, we could say, then you can use P. So you can see exactly what you have. 
P, we also show you characters like the new line character. So this is the new line character. And with P, you can see it. But if you use put, you won't see it. There is no new line character. But with P, you can see the new line character and the quotation marks. So that's the difference between put and P. Put Puts is for the user, for display, and P is more for like the programmer, it's more for you. It's so you can see the real, we could say like the more raw version, the real version of the object you're working with. So that's the difference. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, subscribe to the channel. That what that we do for you is notify whenever I post new content, so you can keep improving your Ruby skills. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching. See you in another video.